Hi Stampers, I'm Sunny Sky and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Now this is the time of year when I'm giving lots of gift cards. There's graduations, there's weddings, of course there's birthdays as there are throughout the year. But how do I package these to still making them make them meaningful and personal to the recipient? Well, you can incorporate this gift card right into your card. Now I have showed you in my assembly line stamping video this card that I made where I just put a glue dot on the inside and then just attached the gift card once I was ready to send the card. But I also have this idea for you and this gift card holder actually puts the gift card right in the front of the card. I've made a little pocket here so this is a piece of cardstock that I've just folded in half and then I folded it back over again. You can kind of see this little lip here and just adhered it with a brad on either side. I didn't want my gift card to get stuck in any adhesive down in the pocket and it's actually part of the decoration on the front of the card. This is using the Market Fresh set which is retiring at the end of May and the coordinating DSP and I ran out of the purple DSP so I have a lot of green ones here but I've made several so that I'll have some on hand and you see another variation there that's even simpler. While I was in the craft room making some thank you cards. I made a couple more that don't actually have gift cards with them but this one also uses the Market Fresh set. This is watercolor paper and I actually got the paper wet first and then I used my water brush to put some re-inker directly from my ink pad right on the paper and then I stamped the image right on top of the wet paper and so it gives it that sort of fuzzy effect. And you can see this one was even wetter, so it's more fuzzy. And then I just put it with a dimensional, added a greeting on top. So there's another thank you card idea. Or really, you could use this for any occasion. And then here are several more thank you cards. I, I tend to go in batches. And this butterfly right here, this large butterfly stamp, is actually retiring. So you'll want to pick that up if you don't have it yet. It's a lovely stamp. But anyways, there's a bunch more thank you cards. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed those couple of tips today on, a, on ways to package your gift card with a couple bonus cards. And I wish you a happy gift giving season. Now go get crafting. So there's a couple of gift card and thank you card ideas for you. Hope you enjoyed them. Now go have some fun crafting.